Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Do you know whether the Yoba actress Lisandra playfully asked that it seems her husband has used Juju on her, or is it herself that has used Juju on her husband? However, she playfully concluded that she herself and Mr. Lawao have both used Juju on themselves. And while some women enjoy pulling other women down, the woman in Liz and Jeremy's lives are busy spoiling her silly. She revealed that they have spoiled her silly with the amount of 10 million naira with several other gifts. Earlier on, she also took to her social media platform to share the words of cash she has received. She is currently overwhelmed with all the love and support she has been receiving. Also, just two days ago, Liz Andrine has become a model for a 24 hours instant cash. She has also officially changed the name from Liz Andrine to Liz Lawal. And since the day she got married, she has continuously showered praises on her husband, Alaji Lawal, whilst sharing several lovey-dovey videos and pictures of themselves on her social media platform. She has revealed that Mr. Lawal is even the one behind her success story. And even when her ex-boyfriend stole her car, he had to give her his own personal car. She revealed that her ex-boyfriend and his friends beat her and stripped her two pictures and stole her car. The guy that stole her car, she revealed that it was actually her fiancé and they were planning to get married. She said she didn't even mind that the status of the man was below her because of her mother's previous advice that she should build a man to her taste, even beyond her taste, but that she should be under the man, love and respect him and also care for him so that she can have fruitful children. That was a challenge Liz had to take and she says she does not regret her celebrity status, she only regrets that there are evil people in the world. And after her relationship with her ex-boyfriend, she noted that fraudsters are everywhere and around the corner and she wants to be careful and also wants to take her time. Liz has been very open about her life journey, all her struggles struggles and past experiences. She also revealed another story of her past relationship so that you will not look down on any woman because she can become your boss tomorrow. This was how she related the story. There was a time she was dating a guy and he said to her and because Lizzie is not from a rich home and he said Lizzie was a bar whereas another girl who is the daughter of a friend to a commissioner was Salad and that was why the guy chose the girl over Lizzie. Years back, one Okada man hit a Range Rover and she rushed down to fight the Okada man. She removed his helmet to fight him, but then to her greater surprise, it was the guy that left her to marry the commissioner friend's daughter. Then she went back to her car and left in disbelief. However, something came to her mind, so she started thinking of when the man left her and how she almost committed suicide not knowing that God's plan is bigger than human beings' plans. She says some men are like those guys that pick dirty and rotten irons, even when they see gold or diamond. Even things that can help their life, they would rather mash it together and sell it to the recycling company. As a female child from a humble or hidden background, you would definitely face a lot of rejection and heartbreak from men. Parents and government should work more on male child because the rich men are jumping from one girl to another is too alarming, this was what she said. We realize that men are contributing to joblessness of ladies and they are proudly converting women both married and single to cheap prostitutes because men invest unnecessarily on ladies with no work than the ones that hustle. Some of them refuse to support their hustling other half deliberately. Some men tend to promote their side chicks with no job than women with hustling spirits. Moment some men realize their wives start work or business, they will become enemy of their women's progress. The man will be telling you that he's broke so you can spend your capital. If your man has multiple women and he's still telling you that he's broke, Lizzie says you should run for your dear life because he's just using your money to satisfy another jobless chick. She also revealed why she used a controversial riding ring. He said her wedding ring is just two pieces but then the tatashi in the design makes it look like 10 pieces and it had to be extra headache for the Thomases. For everyone doubting that Liz and Jorin has finally settled down. Lizzie crossed controversy just some days ago when she put up her picture and herself on social media platform and then tagged that everything in the picture was for sale including her husband and a follower asked for the price of her husband however this was just a banter she also revealed that she has been best friends with her husband for 14 good years and he was the only man that her mother endorsed that actually the man is her mother's godson mr lawa also revealed that lizzie is very respectful pleasant and a good cook and also she has a very high level of perseverance and endurance 
She also revealed how a lot of people mocked her husband for standing by her for a good 14 years. There was even a time she wanted to take poison and end her life. However, he stopped her from doing this. And today, she's glad that everything has turned out well because he's the man behind her success story. She also kept a wedding a secret and made sure that people didn't see this coming so that she could leave them guessing. That was why a lot of fans and even her colleagues were shocked when they heard that Lizzie was off the single market and married to a hat Alaji Lawa, who had weathered the storm with her for 14 good years. Lizzie Andrew is also one of the richest actresses in the movie industry because apart from being an actress, she's also an entrepreneur. She's into fashion business. And Lizzie has been into business since she was 13 years old. She even said then, when she asked her mother for school fees, her mother would ask her how much she has been able to save from her own personal business. So Lizzie has a lot of properties scattered in Lagos State and she completed her last property in the heart of Lekki just last year, June, July. This was when she shared her testimony and related her experience when she was growing up, how she suffered with her mother. This was how she related it. I wanted to hide it before but I noticed that my house or houses are always ready during June, July. It would be stupid of me not to give testimony so that those people with good hearts can praise and exalt your name, Allah, on my behalf. June, July is the month I am arrested mother suffered most as homeless hawkers. Mommy, you taught me how to hide at the edge of heavy materials during rain. We tie our clothes together so that breeze and water will not overflow me. No matter how careful we may have been, we often sleep on our feet standing due to flood. Throw away things we took on depth due to slippery flow during rainy season. Our eyes always shed streams of tears. People we took depth from humiliate and call you names before me. If they refused to supply us on credits, we always settled for snail hunting. We picked small snails, boiled and washed them and took them to the market to sell. We go hungry and suffer most during June, July. The month I had my baby in Joss with zero rest of mind or love, except for my mother-in-law, Yajebu, thank you. That was also June, July. June, July, let's stop there. We'll talk about you some other time. But thank you for smiling at me. Now, I appreciate your kind gesture. Thank you for being my best friend now and forever. Thank you, Allah, for making me eat enough and sleep in a good place. With enough clothes to cover my tiny body. Mommy, thank you for teaching me how to do it alone. Thank you for giving me wonderful names like Elizabeth, Omoshalakbe, Egomido, Goluwa, Shon, Oromitokbe, Akwanke. And thank you for not allowing me to change my surname, Anjorin. This was what she wrote. Her full name is Elizabeth Aisha Anjorin, but she's popularly called Lizzie Anjorin. A debut movie, Tolani Barada, was followed by Gold, a compendium of her life experiences, Yawabuke Kofutinubu Kofu, the first lady, and a sensational movie, Owenara Bert. Lizzie was born in Balagre, Lagos State, on the 4th of April 1980, so she's currently 40 years old. She was a student activist on the campus of Olabisi Onobanja University. She subsequently went to an acting college for four years where she met the late Idowu Gumbi and Ahmed Alassari, who were instrumental to her career growth. Liz had humble beginnings, and her parents had to work for 20 hour shifts, having no sleep, and still living from hand to mouth. So, she, when she was a bit older, she wanted to help her family and try to find job as a domestic assistant in the houses of wealthy families. But then, she revealed that she was mistreated when she did this because they thought she was not good enough. She also revealed how she lost the father of her baby girl when she was just two months old and how she suffered during this period and even how she was rejected by his family members, especially her late boyfriend or the brother. However, her mother-in-law was kind and took her along to Joss and played too, where she started her life. Lizzie also related how she wanted to get a higher education and all the struggles she had to go through. She worked as a receptionist, began school at Federal Poly in Lilaru, and to stay in the school, she had to sell textbooks and handouts to her colleagues. There was even a time she gained admission into the university but then lost the admission because she didn't know on time. That was when she wanted to get a law degree at Adekuli Ajasi University. Even though she had success fully passed her jump exam but then she didn't know on time so she lost that admission luckily for her she gained admission to university of Oregon state where she studied transport planning and management lizanne jerry was a single mother and her daughter's name is rotimi however she does not flaunt her daughter on social media platform in general liz is a living example of woman strength she became a wonderful actress loving mother a strong personality and a wife she has also produced at least six movies and she has won several awards, including 
City Purple Movie Special Recognition Award for a movie Owonera Bet. City Purple Movie Award for Yoruba Movie Personality of the Year 2017. City Purple Entertainment Award for Yoruba Movie Personality of the Year 2014. She was also nominated for City Purple Movie Award for Best Actress of the Year Yoruba in 2015. And she was honored by the monarch of your state, Obalamide Adeyemi as the Barokini Adini of the Asian city. And Lizzie also had a few days of celebration. Lizzie is also said to have a sugar daddy. However, this is just a fictitious sugar daddy. She says our one and only sugar daddy is God Almighty. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And let's turn on two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.